Greetings. I am Nicole B. Simpson and I want to welcome you to the month of March and we are in week nine of our financial tips to ensure financial stability. It is a 52 week journey in which we promise that if you take this advice, you will be stronger financially at the end of the year than you were at the beginning of the year. And because we're fresh in the month of March, we want to begin the conversation in talking about the value of insurance. Last month when we were dealing with estate taxes and tax refunds, I mentioned that one option that you may have when you receive your financial refund, your tax refund, is to consider purchasing life insurance with an annual premium payment mode. So I wanted to explain exactly what life insurance is and let you know how that may work for you. There are two different types of insurance. There's term insurance and then there's permanent. Let's first define term insurance. Term insurance is insurance on your life that replaces your financial ability to produce income should you die prematurely or unexpectedly. Term insurance is exactly that. You are insured for a certain term or a certain period of time. That time can be five years, 10 years, 20 years, or even longer if you choose. It is the least expensive insurance that needs to be purchased, but the value in having it, the best example that I can give you is to attribute it to car insurance. God forbid, should you ever need it, you want it to be there. You can't afford not to have it. And that's how I like in term insurance. Next week, I'll give you a couple of case scenarios where term insurance may make sense. Term insurance is for the ones that you love. But there is a type of insurance that may be for you and the ones that you love. That becomes permanent insurance. What permanent insurance is, it takes a snapshot of your health at the period of time in which you purchase the insurance and it allows a cash accumulation. There are different types of permanent insurance and we'll talk about that more in the future. But where it becomes valuable is that a net worth or assets can be accumulated in that permanent insurance. People tend to use that as retirement supplements or they use it for estate planning purposes. The value in permanent insurance is the younger that you invest in it, provided you never miss a premium payment or predicated on the type of policy that you have, your, your health only becomes an issue at the point of issuance, at the point in which you're going through the underwriting process. And so if you're young and you get insurance, permanent insurance, you can protect yourself for the remainder of your life and never have to go through those issues again. What am I saying? I'm saying that it doesn't matter what your situation or your scenario is. You do need insurance, whether it be for your loved ones or whether it be for yourself for the future. The question becomes what type? And we can talk about that type on next week. But what I do want you to know is that if money is an issue and you cannot commit to making a monthly payment in insurance, that tax refund that you receive will give you the opportunity to pay for your premium annually. And so next week, we're going to delve in just a little more deeply as to what's best for you, 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 and you. We're going to do that through a couple of case scenarios, and it will make sense as to which one. But I must caution you that even if you get the basics of life insurance down pat, it is still your responsibility to sit with an expert because they'll know your personal case and niche situation and your scenario, and they can identify with you which one is best for you. In addition to that, this is a great chance for me to tell you if you want some further information about life insurance, then check out The Ultimate Plan, a financial survival guide for life's unexpected events. I believe that the chapter on life insurance is probably one of the most clearly defined chapters that makes sense for us so that we learn how to become financially free. I am Nicole Simpson. Thank you for taking this journey with me. If this is your first time seeing this post, then I recommend that you go back to January and check out weeks one through eight and continue this path with us as we move forward on our 52 tips to this 52 week journey toward financial stability. I will see you again soon, www.nicolebsimpson.com.